Welcome to the uh, Meadowlands, New Meadowlands. David Yarrick has joined me, and tonight in races two and three, Dave, I see the top of the program says GSY Spring Series Amateurs. What is that? Well, that's a chart series that I put together um, that features amateur drivers. These are drivers that, um, that compete, that do not take the money as the driver, so that way they retain their amateur status, but um, they are really good, they're capable, they're quality, they know how to drive. And we know you do too, because we're going to have a roll in right now of Shania Twain winning in 2008. Tell us what this race was and what this feel like. Yeah, well this was a great moment. This was really my first year of driving, and Shania Twain was the first horse that, um, that I won an amateur race on. It's the first horse that I won a series on. It's the first horse that I beat professionals with. So, um, and that one year, in the year 2008, she had 18 wins, and I drove her a lot of times, and you know, I, she was lovely. And uh, right now she's getting ready to have a fall. She's bred to American Ideal, and we're going to have our first fall this year. Now this is kind of like a fun thing, too, because we can kind of recruit people. A lot of people can get interested. Your families are coming. Maybe the kids are looking on. Pe people haven't driven in a while. Bob Krivlin uh, one year was right there in the Hamiltonian Oaks. So almost anybody can get involved here. Yeah, that's right. Anybody that's got a passion for the sport uh, can get involved in this. they got to do a little bit of training, get themselves up to snuff so that they're capable uh, of getting either a P or an A license and they can compete and come out here on a Friday night and uh, have a really good time like we are now. And uh, this is a sport where, you know, unlike any other sport, you can actually get yourself to a level where you can compete in the same arena as the professionals. So this is what the allure is for many of the people like myself. And I noticed that eight of the 18 horses here were the driver and the owner was the same. So do we have a situation here where some people are actually going out and buying or claiming a horse specifically for this series? Yeah, that's a great point. I mean, in the rules of my series, there's, get, there's a preference given to a driver that owns their own horse. So those persons, my, my, one of my things that I'm trying to do throughout this series is to encourage people, new people or people that are existing to go out, invest, get a horse, so if they get a horse, they can actually come and, 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 and compete in this type of series. So yeah, absolutely, that's one of my main goals. And I remember a couple years ago, we had a horse, the 14-year-old age limit actually does not apply, does it, to the amateurs? I think we had a horse called Incredible K a few years ago that was actually racing past the 14-year-old limit. Yeah. The rules for an amateur are um, that you can go on, a horse can be over 14 years old, I believe they can go through their 15th year, um, possibly even to their 16th, but I, I know through their 15th year they can race. Now, amateur racing, you know, this is not guys who aren't good. Amateur, like you said, means they're not taking the money. We had two amateurs win the Hamiltonian, Harrison Hoyt and Mal Burrows. Do we have drivers tonight who have aspirations for bigger and better things? Um, I, I believe so. I think that uh, if you take, for instance, Robert Privlin, who's one of our top drivers, uh, several years ago he was second in the Hamiltonian Oaks. And um, there are guys here, we're all ages. We're ages from 20 to, to some old guys like me in their 60s. And, uh, you know, there's guys that really, they aspire to move on. And, and a lot of the drivers that started in the amateur series, uh, Jordan Stratton, uh, Joe Bonjourno, for instance, they started off in this series and they have gone on and become, uh, I think George Brennan one time was an amateur in our series. So, you know, yes, absolutely. I was going to say, you can't find a much better advocate for the series than a Karen Malinowski with the Equine Center at, at Rutgers. Right, right. You know, Karen's a prime example. Uh, she's a, uh, you know, she's a head of the equine studies uh, at Rutgers University. Uh, she's in here. This is her first time at the Meadowlands, first time on a trotter, and she's ready, raring to go. Now, are there the opportunities the same for the ladies? I noticed Monica Banka is also here, one of the contenders. Uh, same opportunities, men, women, no difference? No difference at all. We encourage, uh, you know, this is equal opportunity. In fact, uh, we're out there encouraging women. I'd love to get more women involved in this series. We do have some, Teresa Donnelly. There's some other ones that are racing, just not here tonight. But uh, yes, absolutely. You know, back in the 80s, we had a, an amateur series that involved George Steinbrenner, George Plimpton, and many celebrities. Uh, that was kind of a fun thing, even though I think Steinbrenner wound up picking his horses. But t do you remember that? And, and do we have the possibility of something like that happening again, do you well, think? Well, we can really do anything that we want. Um, at Freehold, uh, we do have a celebrity race uh, that occurs in the September. And uh, we really can, I mean, the opportunities are endless. The, it's, the imagination, whatever we want to put together, we can do, 
And, you know, the amateurs, what I want to say too is, you know, everybody involved here is very passionate about the sport. When they come out to race, they're bringing their whole families, they're bringing friends, they're all eating, drinking, betting. Um, so it's a great experience. It's really a win-win type of thing all around. New people, passionate people, everybody in these two races, every amateur that drives, uh, they're killing each other to try to win. I mean, uh, you know, I think it presents a good betting opportunity for the public. Uh, you know, it's just a great experience. And then to top it all out, we do raise money for, our, for charities. I have an equine scholarship fund that we raise money for. We have another charity called uh, the uh, Magic Project, which uh, helps the disabled. So we raise a lot of money throughout the series. We present a lot of fun and we raise money. And before I let you go, one more question. How about the young kids, the HHYF kids, 16, 17, 18, who maybe aren't good enough to be professional and maybe don't have the time or have another career to follow through? Maybe they might be watching. They might want to get involved in the next couple of years. Yeah, I mean, we love it. I mean, we'd love to have the young kids. There's several ways that they can get involved. Uh, there's a, the USDA has a driving school each year that they can attend. Uh, this year, I believe it's in Goshen again. It's Mark Ford's farm. That's one of the ways they can get in. There's lots of ways we encourage them to get in. This is, you know, the future of our sport is young people. Um, and, and, and this is a, through the amateur through this amateur channel, it's a great way for young people to get involved. So when will we see you again after tonight? Um, after tonight will be Friday at uh, Freehold. That's our next uh, That's our uh, our next amateur race. And there's eight additional series in this particular GSY. We'll be back here on May 2nd at the Meadowlands. And we finish uh, June 20th at the Meadowlands. We have a final that goes for $10,000. And like I say, everybody will battle in uh, ferociously to get into that final. And in case things get really Western out there tonight, Ken Workins is handing out two minutes for roughing penalties in the second and third race only tonight. <laughs> That's possible. David Garrix, <laughs> thanks so much for stopping Thank by. You. Good luck in the second, all the drivers in the second and third. And we'll be joined shortly as Wendy Ross joins me here on the set. Thanks for having me.